there. I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the Irish Weekly News brought to you by myself, Paul Nealon. Um, I suppose I'll start things off basically by talking about John Delaney has confirmed that the FAI will clear stadium debt by 2020. League of Ireland Chief Fran Gavin has confirmed that consultants from Deloitte are working on the structure of a new company that will run the league from 2020 as a partnership between the clubs and the FAI. Abstown Chiefs will be handling over control of affairs to a freshly created entity which the move is in line with 2013 changes north of the border which led to the establishment of the NIFL which is the Northern Irish Football League. Major, de major details have to be trashed out, most notably whether staff from the FAI will transfer over or if new staff will be hired or for administrative roles. It has stemmed from talks between the FAI and the Premier Clubs Alliance, the PCA, which arose from the club's desire for more information and a greater say with regard to sponsorship and TV deals and finances. Uh, it would be a new company, a new entity, and how the shares are in that company and the ownership of the company. That's all being worked on at the moment, said Gavin. Stadium redevelopments. Delaney, meanwhile, confirmed that United Park, home of Drogheda United, uh, is to be redeveloped initially as a 3,000-seat stadium, but with scope for expansion further down the line. In a joint project with Loud County Council, the move is part of a wider plan to provide high-quality playing facilities in Drogheda. It's been a long time coming, but it's going to happen now, which I'm delighted for Vincent Hoy, the long-time chairman of Drogheda United, and delighted for the club, he said, before suggesting that he expects news on the Daily Mount Park redevelopment by the end of September. It is expected that plans for an initial 6,000 seat redevelopment of the Fibsworth Stadium will now be announced, while the addition of a fourth stand and extension to 12,000 seats is likely at Tala. Um, in other news, uh, Republic of Ireland have jumped up two places to 29th in the FIFA rankings. This is obviously after the France uh, and USA game, which we obviously lost the France game, and we beat USA to Alan George with the last-minute winner. So, yeah, um, we've jumped up there. Uh, still not great and doesn't really do a lot for us, but, you know, it's still uh we're still up there we're in the top 30 now anyway so that's good um in other news uh matt doherty uh his injury uh obviously from the jamie Vardy tackle at the weekend isn't as severe as they uh had expected it to be uh tim spears from the star um put out a tweet he said uh, spoke to uh, matt doherty who says he's okay got stud marks down his leg but as his foot wasn't planted it doesn't seem that does any damage. Uh, hashtag WWFC Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, yeah, so he is okay, which is good news. Um, obviously, <laughs> the stuff with James Coleman last season, uh, we were all hoping that uh, we could avoid uh, injuries. Uh, elsewhere, goals from uh, Graham Burke versus Stoke. Uh, a fine left-footed volley, which uh, Shamrock Rovers fans would be used to at this stage. So, uh, yeah, scored a cracking goal, but it wasn't enough to, to win the game. Uh, it was two all against Stoke, which, um, you know, it was a good result, considering Stoke would just have to come down from uh, the Premier League, and they're always going to be a tough team to go against. But uh, he's proven he can do it uh, against them anyway. Um, Shane Duffy. Uh, got man of the match versus Manchester United, uh, a three-two win. Uh, he scored a goal, a nice left foot a goal. Um, yeah, he dispatched a lovely pass there. De Gea in the in the corner didn't really leave him much of a chance. Um, maybe we should try playing him up front. Too. He actually came out after the game and uh, when he was interviewed and said he'd like to score more goals because he feels like he's a big threat in the box. So he's looking to add more goals to his game, which um which will only bode well for, for both Brighton and uh and Ireland. He did give away a penalty in the last minute uh, by a foul, a sloppy foul on Marwan Fellaini, which he could have really avoided, but sure look, uh, he got the award and uh he got the win against Manchester United. So uh, many United fans that are watching this obviously aren't happy to hear me saying this, so I'll move on. Um John Egan who is a big follower of the show and met him a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Sheffield United's record sign him. He's after scoring. Um, he scored for Sheffield United as they beat Norwich and he scored a nice header over Tim Krill. 
So it's great to see him uh, as the record signing starting to make a real contribution to the team. And who knows, he's been in the last few Irish squads, so hopefully he can make a claim for himself and uh, get in there and, and try to do something. Why not? Best of luck, John. Um, and that's really it in terms of our news. Oh, oh, oh the last bit of news is Dal Horgan obviously scored a 90-minute winner. Uh, for Hibs against Ross County in the Cup the other day and he said, came out and said that he spoke to Martin O'Neill over the summer and he said that he needs to get out and play if he doesn't get out and play more than likely going to be left out of the squad so he's he's back playing uh, first team football scoring goals and uh, he's looking to uh, really start getting a lot more caps and a lot more game time uh, for Ireland so hopefully if he can keep uh, doing what he's doing for Hibs and uh, he keeps up week to week then um Who's to say he can't get into that team? I mean, he obviously has shown talent and stuff like that. I don't think the manager really fancied him at Preston. But, you know, maybe this manager does. So, you know, let, let's see how it goes on for the season. He might end up getting a move to Celtic. He could get a move, you know, around the Championship even. Or, you know, even the Premier League club might come in from, depending on how well he does. So, uh, best of luck to Daryl and uh, hopefully he gets more caps. Um, that's really been it in terms of the Irish Weekly News. So There's not that much to talk about. Um, over the weekend obviously covered the goals and stuff like that if there's anything I've le uh, left out please let me know in the comments um, if you like this video tell us why you like it in the comments if you didn't like it tell me why you didn't like it in the comments and as always uh, thanks for watching Irish Football Fan TV see you soon